Good morning, YouTubers, and good morning, Orion. We are growing, as usual, here at the farm, at Finster Farm, and I uh, want to show you a little bit about what we're going through right now and what we're doing. Uh, the greenhouses are still ginning out produce, and we've got a, a new thing that we're working on today. That's just one of them. That is a chicken tractor. That's one of three that we bought up here. It's a mess up there, but there's the boxes for the feeders, the tops, the, all the watering containers. And this is what this looks like done. You rotten cat. That is a 10 by 12. This is gonna be for about somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 laying hens. That one is for about 20, 25 rather, uh, broilers. And this one's another 10 by 12 that I'm getting ready to finish. <clears throat> anyway, this one's almost done. I still have to put the feeders on it and the nesting boxes and the roosting pole. Oh, Ryan, really? You're soaking wet. What have you been into? Anyway, uh, I'll show you what this looks like when we're done. It's gonna go right over here and uh, so we can get water and everything to them. Ow. <laughs> really? You are needy. All right, I'll get in trouble if I don't pet you. Somebody will say something. All right, stay tuned. All right, this is really easy to put together. I mean, super simple. I do it by myself. Don't even need any help. And I've got a re bum knee that they just replaced. So if I can do it, you can do it. Anyway, there's they're all bundled together with a couple pieces of wood. There's a piece right here. And it's got little screws that I just took out of it. Holding both sides together. And over here... There's a block on each side and there was a screw holding that in. So now this is free. That is the back side of the coop. There's the nesting box goes there. And uh, I'll show you when we get to that. And then the front is on the other side and the sides are in the middle along with the ridge poles. And after you've got it all apart, first thing you want to do is lean that against something. I used my tractor for the first one. You have to make sure if you use the back panel first that you have room on both sides because wheels stick back out from the uh, rear of it. So you can't put anything against that that's, you know, if, if this thing was out past here that wheel would hit it and you wouldn't be able to put this corner together. So anyway, everything is done with uh, lag bolts and wing nuts. Like that. The only thing that's not a lag, let me see. You see that? This is the only one that's not a lag bolt and a wing nut. That is a lock nut because that has to stay loose so that you can pick the tractor up and move it around. Anyway, I'm gonna line this up. It's basically putting together a little puzzle. You just put them together, uh, everything lines up because they had it all pre-built. I haven't had a problem one. Before they bundle them up, they're all pre-built and pre-drilled and that's really nice. Well, here's the, uh, the only tools you're gonna need. I use this to tighten up the wing nuts. That's to take the um, the blocks apart. And these are to tighten up the, the, uh, the bolts for the lifting kit. And here's all the hardware. And I have not used these plates yet. They go in the very front. I'll hook that all up once everything's set. These are your bungees. They tie the top to the actual frame 
lots of those. It's, it, I think there's at least one extra for each one of those things in case one breaks. And here is your hardware. That's really all there is to it. And instructions. Pretty easy. And I think that's a number 14, by the way. All right, and this is all you need to put the whole frame together without the um, the, the actual top, the rafter area. But this will put all four sides together right there. Eight of the long bolts and eight wing nuts, and you need that to tighten them up. Okay, it's literally this easy. The bolt goes in this way. There's like a little divot on the inside. Oh, and make sure that you have the screen the actual uh metal i guess it's like chicken wire whatever you want to call it uh on the inside not the outside you see how it's inside there that way they can't get up in there it's nice and uh uniform so they can't have no gaps to get out but anyway stick them in this way put the nut on this side and tighten it up. The one down there is the hardest one because I have fat hands and I gotta get down on this knee. But anyway, it's that easy. And just tighten it up with a pair of pliers and you're good to go. And I'm not gonna sit here and show you how I do all that. It's pretty easy. Okay, I got tired of scratching my arm all up, trying to reach down through there. This is the the best tool so add that to your tool list you can just reach in there with this i don't know if you can see that or not. and just twist it that's all there is to it okay here's the ridge poles rafters whatever you want to call it trusses <clears throat> oh and if you were wondering what the scissors were for let's see i use those to, these are bundled up with plastic you're gonna need it for the plastic. You're gonna need it for the ties that hold the tarps, the boxes. Anyway, do need scissors or a knife, good knife. Anyway, this is the ridge pole. This is the top. And I wanted to make sure everyone knows the holes in the end of this are meant for one of those. <laughs> There's only one way to put it up. If you put it up backwards, you'll know it. So you just stick it up in there and if it matches, it matches. If it doesn't, you gotta flip it around. But make sure that this is facing down. See that? I don't know if you can see that or not. That sun's really bright. But let's look. That one matches up. If this is right, this is the first one that I've had. Yep, and that one will match up. So we're okay. We can start putting this thing together. But anyway, this is the middle pole. It will line up with that hole right there and up there. There's only one bolt in the bag that'll fit that. It's I think it's a two and a half and it gets a one and a half at this end. And these are the longer ones and they go like so. I hope you can see this. I hope. See how that lines up there? That line up with that hole. And it'll line up with the hole up there. I'm going to put this together and show you what it looks like. Okay. I got it all tightened down. Make sure it's really good and tight, y'all. You're going to be moving this thing around. In fact, you may want to go back and check them after you move them around quite a bit. Make sure that everything's tight. The last corner that you do will let you know just how square you got it. So if you got to, you may have to move it around, pull it this way a little bit or pull it that way a little bit to get that last corner in so it's all squared up. But you want this thing as tight as you can get it. You don't want any critters getting in it. If you've watched my videos in the past, I mean, like eight years ago or more, uh, you'll know that I had chickens and we had an owl that got in but that was a homemade chicken coop that Daniel, my son and I built. 
together. My goodness, Orion, really? You're a ham. You just want to be on everything, don't you? On every video. He wasn't even around when I was putting this together. All right, so this is what this looks like. The next step is to another thing you need these for is to cut those cable ties on the lifting mechanism, pulley system, and the wheels. You got to cut that and then bolt this to that with one and a quarter inch screws with lock, uh, lock nuts. Ow! Ow! So stay, stay tuned. All right, after you cut all that, you can pull this up and this is how this goes together. And it's gonna take two of these to tighten that up, but you don't wanna tighten it to where it's too tight. You want just to get that lock nut down where the bolt is coming through the end and that's good enough so it won't back out and you want that nice and uh, loose freed up so when you pull it it'll it'll move um, you can adjust this too to one of these if you move it this way it lifts that wheel higher so right now i'm just putting it in the first one because i moved this one over here with that and it seemed to be fine and if a messed up legged old man can do this, you can do it. That one's real easy to move. That one's smaller. That's a six by 10. This is the 10 by 12. Okay, I forgot to show you. That is a 10 millimeter and this is an 11 millimeter. And don't forget, to cut that cable tight because that's what holds everything together and keeps you from pulling it up that's where you lift it up to move it kind of a pendulum all right, so the structure is all together the next part is to put the the canopy on but i wanted to show you this real quick how easy this is to do you can just kind of grab this pull that out with your hand and you pick up and you see back there it picks it up and you can roll it. Boom. And this is what you need for the next step. These are nine inch bungee cords with knobs on them that hold the, the uh, canopy down. This is the canopy. It's hard to do one handed, especially with dull scissors. Anyway. Let me lay this out and show you what it looks like. When you lay this out, roll it from this end out. That's the, see the little grommet there? That goes on the front. There's a back side, and you can see on these that have sidewalls and an end wall, because that covers that end right there. That's going to be gray. When you roll this out, you'll see what I mean. And you just pull this. You take that in and you pull it over the top first. And because this will be the outside. So take this end, stretch it over, you pull it all tight, and you make sure that these corners, they have little corner pockets on the canopy. Make sure those corners are in and the corners at the top are in and you're good to go for a bungee in it. Is that a word? I don't know. Okay, see how this looks? I got the corner in up there. Got the corner in right here. This one will go in. Like so, I'll put the spongy in, and we'll do that other side over there. We're not going to show you all these bungees, but you just stick the bungee through until it's tight. You go down, I go down until it's already, it's pretty tight, like right there, the length of it. And then I pull it through, if I can get it through there, like so. Bring it up, and pull it tight.
there you go just like so do that on all four corners and then you can go around and hit every grommet all the way around it it's like i did over here you see they got them down around the bottom here these are retractable too you can raise those curtains you raise the back uh, and you can actually keep that all open but this is where your nesting box goes i'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna call this a video god bless go play in some dirt i'll show you what the birdies look like they're coming tuesday and wednesday and i'll i'll give you an update on it then take care <laughs> well let me say I, i'm gonna do my best to give you an update then